excited for games. Which I don't blame them. People see a game and they put out these cinematic trailers and they look good. But now we have another game failure in modern games. So last month we had this game called The Crystal Protocol. Another failure in modern games. But now we have a new game. Forspoken. This is supposed to be the, fir the first big game of the year. Kind of like how Elden Ring and Pokemon were last year. Pokemon Legends Arceus, I mean. They were supposed to be the, this is supposed to be the big, first big, big game. Okay, you had Fire Emblem and Gates come out. Of course, we all know Nintendo fan base does not really like Fire Emblem that much. Which is not too surprising the user scores of that role for that game. Which is around 7.0. Because a lot of Nintendo fans hate Fire Emblem because of the overrepresentation it gets in Smash Bros. Bros. But then, we also had that One Piece game, which everybody forgot, except for One Piece fans. But then we have Forspoken. This was supposed to be the first big game of the year. And look at this. 40% of people like the game. Only 40%? This was supposed to be the first big game of the year. Metal quick because of that Last of Us Part 2, you can't see any user scores. Because they really want to protect the Last of Us Part 2. Which was a terrible game as well. But this is supposed to be one of the best games. One of the first big games of the year. It's already a failure. Already a failure. We're going to of course see what the game sells. But while people are saying that this game isn't good. It is not a good game. That first spoken. It's another failure. And modern gaming. And I've said. Modern gaming. Is modern gaming dead? Modern game, and people were saying this, modern game about to get worse. I said, which is worse? Is get modern movies and modern games. And really, you do have your good movies that come out every once in a while. And you do have your good games that come out every once in a while. Last year, I had some stellar games. That released. Sonic Frontiers was pretty good. It was one of the best Sonic games in a while. It was definitely way better than Sonic Watch World. Definitely better than Sonic Blue Rise of Relic, which doesn't even need a comparison. It definitely better than Sonic Forces. I thought Sonic Forces was okay. Especially if you compare Sonic Forces to Sonic Frontiers. It's like comparing, you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, bronze to gold. Okay? You know, die, you know, you know, wood, but let's say, you know, Sonic Forces is wood, you know, one of the worst bikers materials, to diamond armor and netherway armor. You know, it's not, I, I, I know I keep playing Sonic in Minecraft terms. I apologize for that, but, and also you had Elden Ring. Everybody universally liked Elden Ring. So much that one game of the year. And also, let's not forget that, you know, Kirby the Forgotten Land came out. And for every good game, you usually have your bad games. Of course, bad games do exist. There's nothing you can do about it. That Okay, and of course you had the Pac-Man remake, which was pretty good. Good. But for every good game that comes out, there are going to be good games that come out this year, obviously. You know, not every game that comes out this year is going to be complete garbage. But now we're paying $30 for video games. So people are going to be much more choosy with their games. And for Spoken, it looks like a game that's not going to wow people over. Either people are going to wait for this game to be on sale, because not many people are going to be paying $70 for a game that probably isn't going to be good. Good, as everybody is saying it isn't that great. As well. So, and also Forspoken is a Sony exclusive. So there's another big role to PlayStation. Because this game isn't that good. People are saying this game isn't that good. Kind of like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But the difference between this and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is that people will still go out in droves to buy Pokemon. Even if they make it a pile of sit, people will still go out in droves to buy Pokemon. Especially little kids will be begging their parents to buy the newest Pokemon game. Okay. You know. Forspoken came out after the holidays. It's a January release. And typically January releases. Are stuff that is put out to die. Okay. With the exception of Pokemon Legends RCS. And your well January release. Okay. January games are typically put out to die. Similar to movies. But Forspoken is yet another failure. And modern game. It's also on PC. But I wonder what the reviews for Steam as well. Also, you have to enter your birthday. Okay. 
I'm just going to enter in a random date. And on Steam, it's mostly positive as well. But again, we really have to wait to see it till tomorrow. Because we all know, we're not allowed to see the user scores for Forspoken until tomorrow. So yes, we're going to have to talk about this game tomorrow. And where is it the fifth best review game out of five other games? Yep. Which means it's the worst. Because Monster Hunter Rise came out. Vengeful Guardian came out. One Piece Aussie. Even worse than Breakers Correction. Okay. So that means this is the worst game of the year. Of all the PS5 games. Okay. It's the worst game of the year. Which again. It's out of five games. But again. For this game. It's not that good. According to many people. And especially the critics. It's another forgettable game. That Sony is going to probably tell how great they are. Okay. How great it is. And of course the reviews on Steam wind up with the 68% on Metacritic. Which means this is just a mediocre game. It's not a bad game. It's not The Last of Us Part 2. It's just a mediocre game that just exists. And I bet there are people who just going to buy this just to... You know, pull over until... The, until the big games of next month come out. Oh yeah. The Harry Potter game is still coming out. Goodbye.